How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Fabulous Flicks. It has been a while uh, since I've had the pleasure of being up here, giving you guys some content. Uh, a lot has changed and some stuff is going on, obviously, in my end of the world as well. Now, typically, I do movie reviews and I'm still going to do that. I love doing that. But today I thought I'd do something a little bit different. For the last three years, I've been running the Definitive Technologies 8060 Super Towers and the 8040 Center Channel uh, as the front soundstage of my theater. Uh, and I've enjoyed it. I've loved it. Uh, however, I do love to tinker. So it's coming up on that three-year mark, and I started doing some research and uh, took a bit of a leap of faith. Uh, so today, I'm going to bring you guys uh, the unboxing of the Emotiva T2 Plus and the Emotiva C2 Plus speakers. Now, Emotiva, for those of you that don't know, really got their kickstart in processors, amplifiers, uh, and other types of audio equipment, but in the last few years, have really started to invest pretty heavily in speakers. Uh, I love the technology that uh, these guys work with and kind of their methodology behind it, and I'll take you guys through this during this unboxing. So, when you have an unboxing, you need your, your trusty box knife. Uh, so I am going to open these up and uh, we'll see what happens. So, so the first thing you notice is that there's a box within a box. So I guess that's what we're doing. Not really a surprise. We have a uh, manual here from Emotiva uh, going after their Air Motive series, which is what this is, the T2 uh, Plus, the, the C2 Plus, the T1 Plus, and the C1 Plus are all part of their Air Motive series. So it's good to have. Wow, okay, I now understand why they were doing the box within a box. You guys will see this in a sec. Really, really thick foam padding. I mean, these things are shipped uh, directly from Tennessee. They came on UPS. You know, I'm in Canada. They uh, took not even four or five days to get here, including over the weekend. So we'll throw, it over, we'll, we'll throw that over there for, uh, for Stacy to clean up, and we'll get back to it. All right, so we've got the box within a box open. You can see that there is no shortage of padding here. Um, wiggling this out is going to be wonderfully awkward and probably going to look rather funny in uh, fast motion. So, All right. So, obviously, there was a fair amount of fair amount of extra box and extra padding. Again, based on the fact that these things are shipped directly. Got our lovely little packets in here. Again, tons and tons of, tons of padding. You can tell these guys are not fond of the idea of having returns. Oh, wow, that is not light. First things first, really, really thick black cloth. Kind of goes hand in hand with that kind of higher end feel that they're going for. Okay, so here we are. We will pull this off and give a full first impression. So first things first, really interesting that there's a three quarter grill. Uh, a lot of companies go the full, the full grill on the front fascia. This is a three quarter, but it looks really nice. Got your mid driver, you got your ribbon tweeter. You got some cones, obviously your low and mid frequency there, which I'll go over in detail in a sec. The T2 Plus come in at a whopping 57 pounds a piece. They're just under 43 inches high, just over 12 inches wide, and just over 12 inches deep. They have a frequency response of 35 hertz to 28 kilohertz. They're a four ohm speaker. Uh, they run an efficiency of 91 decibels. And uh, they feature a high-frequency driver, the 25 by 32 millimeter air motive folded ribbon tweeter, just like the center. 
Mid-range drivers are five and a quarter inch woven fiber, and as well as the low frequencies are powered by eight inch woven fiber cones. These towers are of course bi-ampable uh, as they have the dual terminals on the back. Um, but the first thing that really stands out is that it's not a wood finish. It's got this kind of vinyl smooth kind of feel to it, which is a little bit different. I watched a review from another YouTuber who equated it to the Tumblr from the Dark Knight series. And I gotta tell you, I think he kinda, I think he kinda nailed this dead on. I mean, this literally looks like a speaker representation as to what the Batmobile was during, during the Dark Knight series. So, okay, so this is the first one. I'm going to uh, quickly unbox the second one, well, as quickly as I can, and then we'll move on to the center. Okay, so we've unboxed the two towers. They are heavy. I will, uh, I'll get you guys some exact specs uh, kind of after if I haven't already said it uh, at the video to this point. Next is the C2 Plus Center. Um, very quickly, what, what really drew me to this center as I start to unbox it was in the room that I shoot Fabulous Foots from, there's obviously a theater room as well. And we find that when we have paint over, obviously paying attention to all COVID guidelines, of course. Uh, and even when it's just my wife and I in the house, uh, some people don't necessarily sit in a good spot for the center channel. So our room is a little unique in the fact that we have probably three to four viewing spaces that are kind of considerably off to the side. So what really drew me about what Emotiva is doing with these, with the C2 and the T2 Plus was not only how wide the dispersion is, um, but also how big the center is. This center is almost 32 inches wide, which is about an entire foot bigger than my definitive technology. So, all right, let's wiggle this out. You know, it matches the look, obviously, of the T2. Again, it's not a wood finish. Very much a, a vinyl matted smooth kind of cool thing. Uh, the one thing I'll jump to and look at the back is that uh, they have dual terminals on the back, which is pretty rare for a center. And on the front, more so with an entire full, full grill rather than, uh, rather than the uh, three quarters like in the tower. Perhaps I should not have this thing upside down. So what you'll notice is that you have, you know, their ribbon tweeter, you've got your mids, you've got your lows. This is really meant to disperse a pretty big crowd. So here's uh, here's some specs kind of on the on the towers and the center for your enjoyment. The C2 Plus comes in at 36 pounds. It is almost 32 inches wide, eight and a half inches high, and ten and a half inches deep. It has a frequency response rated at 45 hertz up to 28 kilohertz. It is a four ohm speaker. It runs an efficiency of 92 decibels, so it's a fairly efficient speaker. Uh, it does have the 25 by 32 millimeter uh, Airmotive folded ribbon tweeter. It has two three inch woven fiber cones for mid, and for the low frequencies, it has dual six and a half woven fiber cones. This center is also very unique in the fact that it is dual terminal at the back in case you want to buy amp your center. Okay, so here we are. Uh, obviously, these are a heavier speaker than I was dealing with in the past. They're, the center itself is humongous. Uh, and this has been the unboxing of the Emotiva T2 Plus and the Emotiva C2 Plus. I will check back in a couple weeks after I've had a chance to 
you know, break them in and really listen to them and experience them both, uh, not only from a movie perspective, but also from a sound perspective. So thanks so much for tuning in and look forward to doing some movie reviews, uh, listening to my new front soundstage. Take care, guys.